Hey everyone, tonight is the official kickoff of the 2023 series, Warriors of the Fall. And what I'm doing here, I'm on a private land piece, and I have a buck uh, that I've called Old Toad. And I have him on trail camera three different times. And right now I'm trying to pinpoint where he's coming out to. Um, I don't know yet. Um, I have a couple suspicions, uh, some of the bedding areas that he might be in. Um, so my goal tonight here, we're, we're one week away from the Wisconsin bow hunting opener. My goal tonight is to see if I can't find him coming out to a hidden bean field. The beans are green yet. They haven't even yellowed, uh, even a tinge yet. So my hope is that he comes out uh, tonight. Now, if he doesn't, what I'm doing here is the process of elimination. And then I can just start to focus on some other um, food sources uh, that surround this particular property. And uh, that's the goal tonight. So why don't you folks follow along um, and let's see if we can't find old toad on camera. Old toad, uh, I have pictures of him and I would love to share those pictures. However, this particular private land piece that I hunt has a lot of bow hunting pressure that surrounds it. And if I get this picture out there, um, and I don't know who or who doesn't watch this YouTube channel, I have to be very careful with that. So I'm not gonna show any pictures or technically any video of this particular buck. Um, but if I do get him in the back of my truck, arrowed uh, bow hunting this fall, uh, I'm gonna share everything with you guys from that. So I'm saving all this video footage and pictures, assuming that I can get him and and maybe not either like i said this is a highly pressured area around and he could end up in in somebody else's um truck and and so be it so hopefully you folks can respect that component at home i will share with you though um, i've been having a lot of bucks uh, smaller bucks so i will share those bucks with you assuming that uh, there isn't a, a unique smaller buck that gives away my private land location i do have 12 uh, private land locations um, that I that I hunt as well as public land. But with that being said, let's go get set up and see if we can't get Old Toad um, tonight filmed. And if I don't see him on film tonight or witness him coming out to this hidden bean field, uh, then it's the process of elimination. And then another observation set will be coming up on a different uh, field or food source, essentially. So let's get set up. Uh, I think we had about two hours of daylight left and uh, let's see what comes out to the field tonight. So right now I'm sitting 200 yards off of the edge. Um, I kind of had to go around a little bit of a corner to be able to look back into the corner where they like to come out of. I'm a little closer than I would like, but behind me um, is essentially all farm fields. And uh, there are some houses over here. So they're not going to go this way. They're going to come out, hopefully, and just meander out in the beans. And then when they're done, Well, that was kind of interesting. So there's this doe that must have been just bedded 30 yards down and I heard her actually get up and she popped up and she came within 25 yards of me sitting on the edge of this field. She was just sitting in the corn on the edge of it. One of the things I want to mention, you know, if you're looking to get into filming your, your hunts, what I like to call my big camera, which isn't a very big camera at all actually, this really comes in handy for these scouting videos. I like to do a lot of these observation sits prior to the bow hunting season. Well, 
Well, folks, it was a beautiful night out there tonight. Um, just those does that showed up, no bucks at all. Uh, process of elimination, and doesn't mean that uh, old toad or another nice buck could show up later out there tonight. Um, but that's just part of performing observation sets. So tomorrow we're gonna hit another field edge, see what we can see, see what the trail cameras uh, reveal to. Uh, maybe he's gonna show up later tonight, whatever it might be, and then just basically try to narrow down his his bedding location. The other thing too is, you know, the, um, I have a couple of cameras on field edges and I'm observing fields. But if I can find out where he beds, the goal is to basically get in the woods on him uh, before he comes out to the field, um, assuming I can find out where he beds and where he lives. And that's the process right now. Hey everyone, old toad showed himself last night on one of my cell cams. So I'm pretty stoked about that. It seems like he's actually been showing himself a little bit more uh, on a regular basis now, as the season's getting closer. Now it's just up to me to put a game plan together on when, where, what, and how to hunt him. And all four of those, to me, it's actually the when component um, that can make it or break it. Old Toad is number one on the hit list. I have a couple of other uh, really nice bucks as well, but Old Toad is number one. So I'm gonna throw my focus on him first and depending upon how that goes, I will readjust and go from there. So if you folks wanna follow my hunts uh, on Old Toad this year, please hit that subscribe button. And once again, I either hunt public land or knock on door permission, and there is no baiting. I do not bait um, at all. Um, I'm not saying anything against any of you folks who do at home, just for me particularly. I just like to do it on their terms and you know that old school cat and mouse game. So once again, please hit that subscribe button, and then I will see you on the next Warriors of the Fall series uh, throughout Oak and Iron Outdoors, all right? So take care, folks, and until next time, Clint from Oak and Iron Outdoors.